Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and today I'm sharing another Bitmoji resource that can help enhance the experience of virtual learning. Bitmojis first started popping up in education resources when teachers started making virtual Bitmoji classrooms, and we have a tutorial and template on that, so if you're interested in that, go check it out. But now Bitmoji lockers are gaining popularity as a good icebreaker activity for the start of the school year. Teachers and students basically make their own virtual locker scene and they fill the locker with items that can help introduce themselves to the rest of the class. To simplify the process of making these individual lockers, we made a Bitmoji locker template that anyone can just go in, make their own locker, and then save the file or share it with the class. This template and the whole process is free, it's online, and it includes all the tools you need to create your locker. So it includes image search tools, you can erase backgrounds inside it, and even add your own GIFs. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to use this template and make your own. Just click the first link in the description below to get to the template and I'll meet you there. So to customize your virtual Bitmoji locker, you're just gonna open this template. It's the link in the description below. Uh, and it'll take you to this page. And so this is the page that you can share with your students or other educators and you can make one yourself. Uh, it'll basically, when you click make it, it'll take you into the Kapwing editor. So this is where you can add text, images, add your own bitmoji, and just like make any edits to this. So just to orient you a little bit, every layer, every image, text box, and your bitmoji will appear on the right side here as one of these layers. So you can, if you click one of the layers, it'll select it and you can make adjustments to it and you can also just click them individually. So the first thing you probably wanna do is replace this bitmoji with your own bitmoji. So this one is my bitmoji, but to add your own bitmoji, just delete this one if you don't already have a Bitmoji, you're going to need to first create one. So download the Bitmoji app on your phone, sign in, make an account, and it'll help create help you create your Bitmoji. And then the second thing you need to do is uh, add the Bitmoji Chrome extension to your Chrome. So I'll put those links in the description below as well for to find them easily. But once you have set up the Chrome extension, you can just go to your Bitmoji extension. And then to add the Bitmoji, there's obviously you can add whatever you want, but the some good one, some good search results are if you search pose, you get a bunch of the Bitmojis like standing up or just pointing to things. I think I'm gonna choose this one. So to get this Bitmoji into the editor, you're just gonna wanna save the Bitmoji you want. So right click and then say, save image as, save it to your computer as a PNG. So I'm just saving it to desktop and it'll download here. So to get it into the editor, just click and drag it. And if it didn't download it, uh, if it's not visible down here, just go and click upload in the corner and then you can click to upload the file and it'll search your files. So now my Bitmoji's in here. You can use the corners of the photos to drag and resize. I'm just gonna put the Bitmoji to the side here. From here, you can just add any text or images or GIFs to customize your actual locker. So these are some ideas already inserted, but you can always just delete ones that you don't want. Just select and delete them. Um, but yeah, to add text, you can just click the text in the toolbar. And then there's a lot of options on the right hand side for how to edit the text. So maybe I wanna say I'm from New York City. Uh, I can resize this by dragging the corners again. You can change fonts, um, colors. So in terms of searching for images, you can just click the image tab here. And first of all, there's also emojis on this tab. So if you wanna select emojis, you can just do that right there and resize them. But to search for other images, yeah, just use this image search. It sources from Google. So for example, if I wanted to search for a cat, 
uh, all these different photos will come up and if you don't want the background if you want it to be just the cat without like an outline like this white border here I would suggest searching adding PNG to your query or the word transparent so the the ones that are actually PNGs with no background are will look like this so even though this checkered background is kind of the typical PNG looking uh, photo that will still show up in the photo so for example it would look like this um, but even if you find a photo that does have this kind of background you can also erase the backgrounds of photos and create your own PNGs in this editor so to do that you're just gonna select the photo and then click erase on the side here and there's two options for erasing so the first one which is probably going to be a, a more efficient way to erase is called the magic wand and basically when you click and drag on areas that you don't want it'll select them and it goes by it selects areas uh, that look similar so for example I'm gonna click and drag and it selects all of this area out here however it does select a little bit of the cat so I don't want that um, you can adjust the sensitivity of how much area is selected using this dragging this bar on the side so if you drag it lower it'll be less sensitive so now it only selects those uh, some of the checkers so I'm gonna make it a little bit more and that looks pretty good to me it's missing some of these parts but I can go in later and manually erase those so to delete the highlighted section just click delete on your keyboard so the second tool in this uh, frame is the erase like the the freehand erase so if you s click and drag it'll delete the pixels that are underneath it so this is great for just like quick um, erasing like some sections and you can adjust the size of the eraser so for example if I just want to delete that these like little spots that it left out I can do that right here I think I'm happy with this now I'm going to click done and there is the cat without the background um, another tip is if you want the image to rate retain its portions when you resize it by dragging so for example if I drag it this way you can see it starts cutting off some of the cat uh, just go ahead and click lock ratio on the side here and it will maintain the dimensions uh, at when you resize like that so one other thing that I want to show is that you can also add gifs right inside this editor so it's just go to the images tab and then whatever you're searching add gif onto the end of it so if I want to search um, map GIF, you can see that all these different GIFs, the ones that are actually moving are GIFs. So this is not moving, that's probably just an image, but something like this globe is a GIF, and this is a GIF. So I think I'm gonna select this one, and then you can just lock the ratio again to make sure it retains the size and proportions. I'm just gonna delete that one and replace it with my GIF map. So feel free to add as much or as little as you want to this. It's in the end, it's just introducing yourself and helping your students introduce themselves so people can customize to their liking. One other thing with the GIFs is when you want to publish it, when you want to finish up and save the file before you click export image you need to click settings and then output file as a gif because this will make sure that the finished version is a gif so you can actually see the see the gif moving if you're just using static images though you don't need to do that step you can just skip that so once you're finished with everything, you're happy with how your locker looks, all you have to do is click export image. So our Bitmoji locker is now done processing. So this is the final file. As you can see, I did add the GIF in there, so it's still moving. Uh, it's in the GIF.GIF .gif format. 
So to you have a couple options for what to do with this file now. You can save it to your device by clicking download here and it'll download that GIF or the image to your actual computer. You can always go back in and edit it or make a copy of it to make another version. Um, but another really cool thing is that if you copy this link and just share it with people, it'll take them to this exact page. So for example, if you wanna just copy it and share it with your classmates or your teachers, uh, it'll just take them right here and they can see what you made. We made the template so it makes creating these virtual Bitmoji scenes really easily. So you can just share that template with whoever you want and they will be able to make their own Bitmoji, Bitmoji locker. We also made a tutorial and template for a Bitmoji classroom. So if you're interested in that, check out the links in the description below. And yeah, thank you so much. Subscribe to our channel for more educator content creation tips and tricks. And we'll see you in the next video.